Hello, I'm Mike Jones. I'm the leader of your new council, Cheshire West and Chester. This council is replacing the four existing councils, and in doing so, we are not looking to recreate any of the existing councils in the way they do things. We are looking on building on best practice and creating a new council with a new culture and a new way of doing things. Something that's fresh, lively, innovative and creative and exciting. Something that the members can be proud of and you as residents can be proud of being associated with. We are looking at how our members can integrate themselves and become involved, fully involved, in your communities to work with and support you in living and improving your quality of life. We want our members to be champions within their communities and in doing so you'll see following on from this uh, short interviews with your ward councillors so that you can recognise who they are. They're making commitments and promises to be more involved in your community and to assist you and your community groups in delivering those improvements within your communities. My name is John Lebo, Councillor John Lebo. I'm a councillor for the Hula Newton Ward of the new, of the new council. I've been a, a long-serving member of the City Council, representing for part, part of that ward. I'm Councillor Adrian Wormsley. Uh, unlike my colleague John Ebo, I'm a relatively new boy, only being elected to the Chester City Council in 2006. I represented the Newton St Michael's Ward on that council, joining Councillor Ebo on the Hula Newton Ward in the new authority. Very much looking forward to serving our residents. Councillor Bob Thompson is the third uh, member in our ward. Unfortunately, he's not here for the filming this morning. He's due to other commitments. Well, perhaps the major issue, I think, and perhaps the most expensive issue, is the Hool Bridge and rectifying the access across the Hool Bridge. But also the traffic and parking in the shopping centre in Hool is important, and, and, and speeding. And I think the, uh, the lack of uh, facilities, perhaps for younger children, uh, leads to some antisocial behaviour, and that needs addressing. The Hool benefits from some large open spaces, and they need uh, maintenance and uh, some money spent on them to bring them up to modern day standards. I'll support everything that Councillor Ebo has said, but I think the overarching problem facing us for the next 12 months is the credit crunch and how that's impacting on our residents, particularly the small business community, particularly the retail shops in Hull and Kingsway who are suffering because of the credit crunch. We want to do everything to help them and signpost them to certain organisations, how we can how they can get help and assistance and so on. Antisocial behaviour is a big problem in our ward. Underage drinking is a problem, but it is convenient. Both Council Ebo and myself have been appointed to the Police Authority, Cheshire Police Authority, effective from April 2009. And whilst we've had excellent links with the police in the past, the membership of the Police Authority will strengthen those links to the benefit of the community. In, indeed, I, I think this is an opportunity which hasn't happened before in our local community, whereas we'll be able to not only liaise locally with, with the police, but at, at a strategic level to bring in resources uh, to where they are, to where they are needed. Although our role in the police authority is actually pan Cheshire and not just locally, I think we ought to be able to take benefits where we have the opportunity to, to, do, to do so. And. Um we, obviously, John Ebo and I will be uh, looking after the concerns of our residents on the usual things like dog fouling, street lighting, street cleaning. But we want to, in the new authority, enhance the community facilities in our ward. Hull is quite well served at the moment with the library, community centre and so on. The other side of the ward in Newton isn't so well served and we want to expand what's in Hull to the Newton side. We have an opportunity there because Woodfield School closed in July 2008 we want to sort of convert that into a, some kind of community centre for old people, for the young, for the youth, uh, perhaps a medical centre and so on. So an opportunity there to, in, to enhance the community facilities in our new ward. Uh, indeed, uh, there are two schools which serve as um, uh, the, the Hull and Newton Ward. The Hull Primary School, which has recently developed, uh, well, perhaps a number of, a couple of years ago now, on Hull Lane. And the Newton Primary School, which is currently going under enlargement to accommodate the loss of Woodfield School. And I think this, we have to work together with the communities in order to gel them into, this, into one community in the, in the school again. And I think it's important that uh, the, the school, both school and Adrian and myself and other members of the community assist that. Both John and I want to engage very much with our residents. And the forum we want to engage in that is uh, John and I will be holding monthly surgeries both in Hull and in Newton. And also there will be the creation of a new local area forum 
which will combine our ward of Hula Newton with the Upton ward, six councillors serving on that area forum, and we'll have a th funding pot of about £30,000 that we can spend on local community facilities. And we want to involve the residents in, in asking them to come forward with some suggestions and ideas how that money can be spent for their local communities. Road safety is a key issue in our ward. John and I have been very instrumental in fact introducing three new zebra crossings in our ward in the last few months. Um, we want to continue road safety, particularly the safer route to schools for children. Uh, that's a key area we want to, to look into in, in the future. Yeah, park and stride is very important, actually. Parking away from schools and walking to schools, getting rid of the congestion outside of school premises, which has just caused difficulties in the rush hours in the early morning and late afternoon. We did refer to um, the, the formal surgeries we're going to hold, and of course we are accessible at any time. We are in the, back, in the shopping centre, particularly in, in, in around the local area. But we have established, as Adrian said, two uh, surgery and we will be advertising those by posters in the local post offices in the local community shops and so that uh, people can be able to access us uh, when they wish and engaging with our community I've mentioned these local area forums we'd like as many residents as possible to attend those forums to communicate with their local councillors these will be advertised where they'll be held and when uh, widely on the website as will our contact numbers, John and I's personal contact details, phone number, email address and so on. So please look at the website to our contact details.